measure the sheet thickness, in this case 10 millimeters. Select the appropriate nozzle for the torch and gas type. Then determine the required operating pressures depending on the thickness of the workpiece. Make sure that the information on the nozzle matches your selection. Type of nozzle, manufacturer, cutting range and oxygen pressure are indicated on the nozzle. A mixed connection is not permitted. Remove the cover cap of the cylinder valve with a suitable tool. Remove possible pollutants from the cylinder valve outlet by shortly opening and closing the valve. Install a cylinder pressure regulator suitable for gas type, gas pressure and gas quantity according to the manufacturer's specifications. In particular, make sure that the cylinder pressure regulator is in perfect condition and has no damage, especially to the sealing surface. Tighten the screw gas tight with the appropriate tool. Cylinder pressure regulators for fuel gas have left-hand threads. Install a safety device suitable for gas type, gas pressure and gas quantity in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. In particular, make sure that the safety device is in perfect condition and has no damage, especially to the sealing surfaces. Next, the hose is mounted, according to the type of gas and the amount of gas. Make sure that the hose is in perfect condition and that it is not damaged, especially on the sealing surfaces. Tighten all fittings gas tight with the appropriate tool. The fittings for fuel gas are with left hand thread. By shortly opening and closing the cylinder valve, you remove possible impurities at the cylinder valve outlet. Install a cylinder pressure regulator suitable for gas type, gas pressure and gas quantity according to the manufacturer's specifications. In particular, make sure that the cylinder pressure regulator is in perfect condition and has no damage, especially to the sealing surface. Tighten the screw gas tight with the appropriate tool. Install a suitable safety device again here. And then a suitable hose. Tighten all these fittings gas tight with the appropriate tool. Before opening the cylinder valve, make sure that the cylinder pressure regulator is released. The adjustment handle must be completely screwed back. Open the cylinder valve as slowly and carefully as possible to avoid a pressure surge. Set the required working pressure according to the cutting table by turning the adjusting handle on the cylinder pressure regulator.
carry out the same sequence for the fuel gas pressure regulator. Check all screw connections for tightness. Use an approved leak detection spray. In the event of a leak, bubbles form. Remove the leak by retightening the screw connection. Spray the connection again and check if there are no more bubbles. First open the oxygen valve, then the fuel gas valve. Ignite the torch with an approved lighter. Adjust the flame with the adjusting valves one after the other until the oxygen valve is completely open. The setting of the neutral flame is carried out via the fuel gas. Check the neutral flame in cutting mode by actuating the cutting oxygen lever. If necessary, readjust the flame via the fuel gas valve. Cut your workpiece by operating the cutting oxygen lever. To switch off the torch, first close the fuel gas valve, then the oxygen valve. Close the cylinder valves. Relax the system by first opening the fuel gas valve and then the oxygen valve on the torch. Relax the cylinder pressure regulator by unscrewing the adjusting screw. Carry out the same sequence for the oxygen pressure regulator. Disassembly is now carried out in reverse order to the assembly shown.